My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. I'm showing you my ring binder of index card projects that I've had made already, and I just love touching them because they're so tactile with the different types of media that I used on each of them. And today's project will be another index card project. This is three index cards that I've glued together to make it a stronger substrate. I'm going to start with a pencil and do some scribble journaling and just let some thoughts go and then I'll do some mark making. The card is a little warped, so what I do is I take a water bottle and just spritz some water on the back and kind of um, work it a little to loosen it up. And as I do so, I realize that of course I've smudged the pencil on my fingers and my solution is to bring in some gesso. Now this is gesso that I had out from a previous project and it's been a little while so it's got that crust, but if you just break through the crust there is some workable gesso there so that's what I use to make some tooth on the background. I changed my mind about putting the modeling paste through this stencil right now. I want some papers, I want some tissue paper down first. So there it is. I have a Jane Davenport serviette and I'm going to pull the plies apart by just getting my fingers sticky with some collage glue. My collage glue is simply a mixture of matte Mod Podge and water. I've just watered it down to make it thinner. I'm going to use a wet paintbrush and uh, draw around the area of the tissue paper that I want and then I'm going to tear it out so that it has that natural torn edge and then I'm going to put it down on top of the wet collage glue and then I'm going to put collage glue on top as well.
once this is dry, I'm going to tear the tissue paper, the extra tissue paper off of the edges. And then I've chosen a different stencil in the end. I've chosen this Tim Holtz and I believe it's a burlap stencil. And I'm going to apply the modeling paste through the stencil with that metal spatula. And I love the texture that it gives. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just feather the edges of the modeling paste and just give it a little bit more of a weathered look. I'm choosing another napkin. Um, I really like the bright colors and it's a great contrast to the background blues of the serviette. I've chosen the yellow flower so I'm going to take a thin brush and some water and trace around it and then I'm just going to pull it apart and I'll have a beautiful flower ready to use. It'll be too transparent so I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and paint the background out so it becomes a more opaque yellow. After the paint has dried, I'm testing the flower, trying to see what I'm thinking for placement. And then I'll take some Tim Holtz Tiny Word stickers and I'll choose two of them to start, take risks and stay strong. And then later I feel I need a third to balance it out because I like threes. <laughs> so I choose another one called Stay Curious. Thank you. 
after everything's chosen, I have this monster bottle of Mod Podge and I'll use that to refill some in my collage glue jar. Uh, but I'm also just going to use it to glue the flower down and then I'll get the sentiments down. And then I forget to press record. Oh, I took out a ballpoint pen in black and outlined the words and some of the flower, Get, did some sketchy lines around the flower. And I forgot to hit record, sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm coming in with a red glitter pen and I'm just adding some accents to the side of the phrases. I feel I need red over there to balance it out. And I just fiddle with this, <laughs> trying dots and then gesso and paint. But of course it's gonna bleed through because it's not entirely dry. And oh, it's a little adventure I go on here. And in the end, what I end up doing is painting him out white and then just drying it off and then scribbling a red slash mark, basically. <laughs> After everything dries again, I'm going to take a Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid Gel Pen um, in red and pink and orange and blue and just add some doodles all around. Thank you. 
Then I'm going to take a Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in black and just create a little sketchy border. Next I'm just going to take some black and white ink and add some splats. And after those splats it looks like the project's pretty much done. I really like the layers how they turned out today. I feel my doodling could have been a little stronger. Using the glitter pens really made them not pop as much as a perhaps a black or a white or a more opaque paint pen uh, but I enjoy doodling what I have and I really liked the doodle border at the end I think it really made everything pull together And that's it for today. I'd like to thank you for watching and please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.